All right, starting on PS2. All right, pretty common star pick here. All right, the go-to, it really seems like, for game one here of MSM 186. Is this a playing chart? Pata no, 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 no. Okay, yeah, yeah. No, they're just very they're, patient. They're just very interesting neutral. And I like already what Habib was eliciting from the very beginning. He was already crouching, making Lightspeed a little bit hesitant to try and space out with Nairs because he could go right under it and potentially go in with a big punish. But Big Grab comes in, double up or triple up there. Gets a soft spot at the end, but doesn't quite continue anything else. Yeah, and I like how Habib is trapping Lightspeed on these platforms with the neutral being hailed. So he can just, you know, catch him trying to shield on these platforms and punish him for it. Yeah. He, uh, he's been doing it in the wrong direction a couple of times, but the idea is there, and I'm sure it's something we're going to see throughout the set. Oh, down tilt trips, tries to find a tech chase situation afterwards, not able to find anything, another big grab coming from Lightspeed. He can rack up the damage pretty quickly, and Kirby will die at very early percentage. If you can get like a Sour Spark Bear or Fair into potentially tech chase for Smash Reed, it'll be very deadly against a character like Kirby, but already a beef still keeping up the control here. And while Kirby is light, he can be rather difficult to hit sometimes with his low profile and his multiple jumps. So when he's just outside of Lightspeed's range, make him commit to something, it's going to be in Habib's favor trying to get these. Just like that where Lightspeed overcommit to the double ledge dance, and Habib was able to jump over it, get the down air into the grab setup, get some damage, and late hit of the forward smash is going to connect and get the first stop. Wow, Sentinel off the top, actually. The new should be... Ah, uh, yeah, you got to be careful about that. The suction is a little bit better than DDD's as far as I know. DDD's is a little bit more vulnerable. You can throw out a hitbox and interrupt the Kirby's. You might be more susceptible to it. And we're already seeing the combos coming out. Up tilts into 40%. Catches some bad spacing too and continuing the pressure here. Yeah, and Habib right now starting, out, or starting the second stock very strong. 62% almost unanswered. Lightspeed finally finds an opening. Has Habib off stage, but a bit of an overcommitment there with that folder off stage. Habib going to miss the punish, and Lightspeed going to punish him with his own back throw. <laughs> that was spot <laughs> hit off the back but Habib was not ready, trying to drift out of the range. Poor DI on his part is going to seal the stock away in favor of Lightspeed. Yeah, I like how he doesn't opt to actually use the absorb no jump. He should be dead. Yeah, he's gone. He, yeah, he's, he's, he's using the the neutral B as a command grab. It just elicits more pressure and you're able to find chase situations like that where you can do a double inhale, caught him in the corner carry, took out his jump and he was already gone. Very smart uh, from Abib not to get, you know, Roy's useless uh, explosion move. <laughs> yeah. It's I a cute hat though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, it can be useful at times, but I feel like you keeping the command grab is going to be more important for Habib in this matchup. Yeah. And man, and every time Habib just on point with his bread and butter, going in with the up tilts, going continue with the nair, and just anti-ing air, and then putting him off stage with that forward smash, and the forwarder is going to take him out! Habib with the two-stock starting off today's match. Wow, start off very strong right there, Said He was just in Roy's face the whole time, making it so he couldn't move at all with the use of the inhales, with the use of the up tilts and things like that. And it really felt like Habib was just playing his own game that whole time, and Lightspeed was doing his best to catch up. Yeah. But, you know, without the Sonic, maybe he's not running fast enough to catch up to Habib right now. Yeah, it's just um, simple A and B. It's just either A, I play committal, and I go into Roy's face, and then he could potentially get those easy sweet spots on me. Or yeah. B, I play my game, and then I force Roy to approach me since he wants to be able to space in that direction. But it makes it very difficult, especially like we said before, how he uses that low profile to make him elicit and a little bit scared to try and go for these aerials yeah, to approach him. Landing photo was a nice response there from Lightspeed. He lands with the photo instead of the neutral because it will hit all the way down to the ground. And it led into a grab confirm. That's 53% for Lightspeed. Habib now fighting his way out of the corner with the jabs, 10%, but now they're back to neutral, both just throwing out hitboxes, that downer does not have a lot of lag, so Habib is able to get the jabs again. Yeah, it's really easy to be able to basically, uh, that's what I'm looking for, sorry, uh, block string, block string him, yeah, and then you're able to get a follow up afterwards. Got himself in the corner one more time, using those multiple jumps to his advantage, making him think, am I going to go to ledge? Am I going to go try and come back to the stage? Decides to offer the ledge that time, using that safe up B. And it's very good patience, that jab into the forward air. Lightspeed not going to commit to using a back air instead. The forward air will not be enough to get the stock. He tries for the back air at ledge, but he fast falls a little too early, so he's not going to get the hitbox on time. I like now Lightspeed, before in the last game, he was getting a little bit too heavy trying to go for these reversal options to try and turn back the situation. This time around, Habib was trying to look for him, trying to uh, it, going in with the aerial and try to reverse the situation and get him with enough smash. That didn't quite happen. He was able to go back, return to neutral, and keep up his advantage position here. Lightspeed's playing a little bit more careful now. Yeah, Lightspeed's definitely, you know, going back to his roots, making his opponent approach him, 
even with the Roy, he has these hitboxes where you can just force Kirby to approach him. And Kirby doesn't have the best approach tools, you know? He has, like, the burst option, dash attack, but that's not going to be doing a whole lot. If it gets shielded, it's going to be a very bad spot. He can't really jump in on Lightspeed either. So once Lightspeed ops just stands still and throw out his disjoints, Habib is struggling right now to find an opening. Yeah, just spacing him out. I think Lightspeed's doing a good job of catching him when Habib wants to try and go in for a jump and try and approach with something. He's been doing a lot of jump fair. He's been trying to be doing jump down into a down air, something like that. But it's not quite coming to fruition. Inhale's not going to do anything great there. Mash. Trying to go for a, <laughs> for a kind of a noob killer tactic yeah, there. Yeah, that was Doesn't a great mash from Lightspeed there. Getting out of that immediately, not forcing himself into a bad spot where he could even lose his jump. Oh yeah, that was a really big tech chase situation potentially. <laughs> Try to go for double edge dance. Not quite going to be able to find anything there. The real Roy Tech is when you dash forward, try to <laughs> elicit a response, and then dash back. You catch the roll in, and you just destroy their stock at 60%. That's the big openings that Roy's tried to look for. But he's still keeping up the lead. Still hasn't lost his next stock, and Habib having a really hard time getting anything started. Finally going to get that grab. Down throw. So I'll say situation. Not going to be able to find a chase, though. And again, light speed. Just be able to slip by Kirby so easily. He has the speed for it. And Kirby can't chase in the air. He's got the multiple jumps, but he doesn't have the aerial mobility to match Royce. Yeah, and Habib going very low. Perfectly sweet spot in that lead. But light speed just seeing it with high percent. But finding a two-stock lead instead. Just forcing Habib to go for a bad ledge get-up option. Was right with the forward air to seal out that stock. Sweet spot and all. Uh, up throw... And right there, the low profile going under the nair, leading into a grab for a beat, but still not able to find the stock. Great patience on the get-up option there from Lightspeed. Habib was looking for the tech chase. Lightspeed, though, not giving it to him. Going for the great fight out of the corner. Okay, I like that. Just jumps out of the dare. Doesn't want to deal with anything afterwards. We got the potential string here. Not able to find anything. Lightspeed just beginning out of all these things. Scott free, basically. Finally, Habib is like, okay, I know you're trying to come back to the center stage now. I'm just going to meet you with a four smash on the other side, okay? All right, it looks like Lightspeed's starting to get a little aggressive. Habib is getting some good damage on time, but is it too little too late? Habib sitting at 79% right now to Lightspeed's two stock, 69%. This is starting to get out of hand for Habib if he can't close out stock really early right now. Ooh, oh, that's okay. okay. There we go. Yeah. All right. Does it counteract the inhale? He finally found the hitbox that will work there. He's been trying to run up jab. He's been trying to go in with like a jump fair. And every time he's been inhaled. But you know what? Double edge dance. That'll do it that time around. Yeah. And I even like, you know, he spaced it far enough away that the hitbox would come out. But the inhale would pull him close enough that he was able to link him to the sweet spot to end it and get that stop. Yeah. Very nice stuff. Okay. Light speed with the adaptation. Playing a more patient game turning to neutral more than trying to reversal. I feel like that's a big thing in this game is that sometimes a lot of people try to focus on, okay, I got the opportunity to bring something back around, but a lot of stuff in this game is just so safe. It's difficult to really actually do that in yeah. fruition. So you just have to settle with your reverse. You have to settle with coming back to neutral and it's like, okay, I got another shot at just playing the game now. Yeah, you'll get him next time, man. Reset your neutral. <laughs> just try and be him from there because landing with an option is, or landing with a hit is not a great choice a lot of times in this game. Double up here, triple gets the sour spot on the third hit once again. Great start here for Lightspeed off of that single grab. Yep. He's been catching him because every time Habib would like crouch and then shield, crouch, shield. Because he's been trying to get that up. But of course when you put up your shield, you high profile yourself again and you're yeah. off open for a grab. So Lightspeed just reading right through that. But these two going toe to toe on this new stage. Yeah, and this was Habib. Uh, this stage was in favor of Habib in game one. He was able to take a pretty solid two stock. Now, will Lightspeed have made the adjustments to make it work on this game 3? Now that we're back here on Pokemon Stadium 2. Oh, I thought for a second that might have been the SD. I was sure. Yeah. I was sure he was. Okay, that, yeah, he kind of falling for the inhales again. Just a little, falling for that platform pressure. Gonna yeah. get that back throw, though. Force out the multiple jumps. How does he go back to the stage? Oh, and the fair doesn't quite come out. Yeah, that's a difficult thing. If you low profile and your fair doesn't arc all the way through when you fast fall, it can be difficult to try and space against a character like Ooh. Kirby. But the down B, very ill-advised there. There is a lot of end lag on that if it doesn't hit your opponent. And or even if it does hit your opponent, technically, there's still yeah, that end I mean, lag of release. It, it's, uh, yeah. it's like rest. You know, if it hits them, what lag? If they're not there, punish you for it. Yeah. Okay. Back throw. Put them off stage. Oh, run right off there. Okay, okay. <laughs> Habib keeping right. things close here. Yeah, Habib just recognizing that Lightspeed's gone for a low recovery almost every single time. Just runs down there and intercepts him before the, before the up can come out. 
Oh, that up tilt picked up from so far away, actually. It's able to scoop him up, get a little bit of damage here. But still, light speed keeping up the control, using those nares and using those fares to keep up that aerial space that a peep wants to occupy when he wants to try and approach with something. Yeah, Kirby's feet in this game are actually pretty big hitboxes. He's got the size 13s on. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, more throw? Yeah. Just con keep up that control. Don't go too hard on stage, though. <laughs> Might yeah. have been really bad there, but he keeps himself alive here. Habib not taking the opportunity to uh, bring things around. I mean, he definitely looked for the reversal back here there, but he wasn't able to find it. But two forward smashes, that's a bad spot for Lightspeed, but... He goes high and Habib commits low, looking for another down air. Yeah, great adaptation from Lightspeed, recognizing, okay, he's been going for these really difficult um, runoff dares, and I can't really recover from that, so I'm going to go high this time, and I'm going to be able to get that up to catch you, coming back, trying to land down with something with a down air or any kind of aerial, and you're just going to get blown out of the sky there. I right, and Habib looking for the down B to catch the, or to interrupt the up B on the way to the ledge, but he was a little too late. Roy already onto the ledge, not going to find it. Yeah, Habib is trying to find all the stops here. Not quite uh, coming to fruition for any of them, though. Now he's already, the t damage is stacking on. He's trying to throw out these buttons, but of oh. course, Roy's is just a little bit better. Double edge dance at the is ledge! That'll it do is. it at 50%! Great and stuff. And speed has a look on his face that says, that killed you? <laughs> oh, Rage still exists to an extent in this game, Kurt.